You are listening and watching to a very special podcast. We're going to continue where we left off on Randy's point of view. I've been really focused on Ferrer, Katrina, and Chloe's, and some others, but I haven't really got the time to do Randy's. I'm so sorry, guys. So anyways, we're going to continue where we left off. Enjoy! Kerwidwin just realized that there was trouble ahead. She could already see it and rushed over. However, she was surprised to see that there were some ladies there before her. Earlier before, Randy and the girls were about to go back, but there were some new monsters ahead. Monsters that were pretty deadly and really dangerous. They seemed pretty new, so Randy and the girls got into battle. Kerwidwin couldn't believe it. Who are these guys? She wondered. As if on cue, Randy suddenly realized that the monsters were being taken down. Even Urza was watching this with surprise. She had never seen anyone taking them down that easily. But the girls realized that only about three young men took them down. One of them was pretty much tan-skinned, and he had whitish blonde hair, and his eyes were pretty much amber, and he had a stoic look on his face, and he wasn't alone. A dark red head was with him as well. He seemed pretty much of the wild type. The other one, he was pretty much dark brown and he was the youngest, but yet he seemed pretty calm. And a nice guy, level-headed but still. <sighs> Damn it, the leader said, the one with the whitish blonde hair. I can't believe it. I never knew he would go this far, said the whitish blonde hair. <laughs> At least we took him down that easily, said the wild, dark redhead. Yeah, for now. All we have to do is find out what the heck's going on here, said the dark brown hair. Well, that was quite impressive, Ursa's voice said. She stood there. The guy with the tan skin and the whitish blonde hair was surprised to see her. You saw all that? He asked. Of course, we all did, Randy said, appearing alongside with the other ladies. You boys really did pretty good. Put on a great show, haven't you? Oh, so you like that, huh? <laughs> well then. Maybe we should show you how it's done. The guy was about to attack. However, Mikasa dodged it. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like she just chickened out. Oh, chickened out, didn't I? Mikasa's voice said. She was right behind the guy. What? How did you... But Mikasa took him down pretty easily without even using her blades. Did you really think that I would run away from a battle? I would never lose to you. The guy with the dark red hair let out a whistle. Damn. <laughs> You're pretty good. Who the heck do you think you are, anyway? I am a warrior, a soldier from the Scouts. The Scouts? Wait a second. You're from another world, aren't you? Said the guy with the whitish blonde hair. Wait. The scouts, I've heard of them. They come from the walls, haven't they? Said the dark brown hair. Yeah, you got that right. Kerwitwin was listening to this. What? Walls? Wait. Giants? Could that girl be 
No, it can't be, can it? Wait a sec. You're Mikasa Ackerman, aren't you? Said the wild guy with dark red hair. I am. And this must... Holy cow. Randy Kerr's team. You're the leading ladies of Randy Kerr. Oh, man. And you must be Randy Kerr, aren't you? Said the guy, pointing over to Randy. Yep, that's me. <laughs> Randon Kerr. Call me Randy. <sighs> I'm sure you've heard of me. That we have. The only reason why we heard of Mikasa is because of her adopted brother, the monster. What did you just say? Mikasa said, glaring at the guy. You heard me, said the leader. He's a monster. You don't know the half of it. You can insult me, but if you ever insult Aaron, I'll make you pay for it. Lucy sighed. <sighs> Here we go. The overprotective sister. Um, did you forget something? Randy reminded. They're not even siblings by blood. They're foster siblings, remember? Okay, Mika says the foster sibling, but still. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot about that. Just then, someone appeared on the battlefield using card magic facing against the monsters that were attacking. Randy recognized that. Kana! There was a girl with wavy brown hair, dark, but she looked really sexy. Her midriff showing, she wore like a bikini looking top and pants, also sandals, but boy did she pretty much kick ass. Hey, ladies, Kana greeted. <laughs> you know, I was going to meet you guys for maybe a drink, but it looked like that didn't go exactly as planned, huh? Sorry, we had some things to take care of, Randy explained. Really? Hmm. Oh, would you look at that? Friend of yours? Nah, just had to be quite impressed by their skills. Hey, you know what? Maybe you guys can join them. Join us. How's that? Kana suggested. Sorry, we don't join girls. What? Yeah, sorry. But this is only a boy's world. Rando, Randy was troubled by this. She and me took a step forward. Wait, it can't always be a boy's world. I think what we mean is here, what he means. It's more like a guy's job to do. I don't think we can need a lady for this, said the dark brown hair. I don't understand. Ursa said. Surely we can all work together. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Ursa said. The whitish blonde haired guy looked at Ursa with surprise. Suddenly he had some sort of flashback. A girl with the same colored skin, but she had dark and whitish blonde hair. She was concerned about how people weren't going to allow other girls to fight. Surely we must fight. You can't leave us out like this. We can fight too. We have been skilled. Girls need to fight too, not just men. The guy seemed troubled. <sighs> What's the matter? Randy asked nothing. Suddenly, Kerwickwin recognized these three boys. 
Oh my god, I know them, Kerwin said. Just then, enemies were attacking. Kagura noticed. <gasps> Guys, look out! She cried. The girls noticed and fought back, but this leader was different, and it looked similar to Kagura, but it was a male, and he had a braid. Hey, sis. Kamu. Randy recognized him. Kagura, it's your brother. <laughs> Well, well, Randy, Kamu said. You remember me. Well, babe, you look kind of more sexier than the last time we met. How you doing? He said. Oh, you think your charms are going to work on me? I know you have a bit of a fangirl entourage, but don't think I'm going to be part of it. Okay? Your leaders and all of your followers and whatever is going to help you out? Well, you're still a terrorist, pal, Randy said. And the fight started. However, Kerwin couldn't stand it being a bystander. She stepped forward and took the guy down. Kamu just went backwards into a wall. <sighs> what the hell? <laughs> Nobody messes with me or anybody else. Is that understood? Kerwin said. The whitish blonde haired guy recognized Kerwin. Hello, I'm Fabian's daughter. Gavin, Raphael, and Lancelot, Kerwin said. The wild guy with the dark red hair, Raphael, stepped forward. Oh. Kerwin, is that really you? Yeah, it's me, Kerwin said. What's up? The dark brown-haired guy, Lancelot, replied. You look, um, stunning. Yeah, I guess. Where have you been? The whitish blonde-haired guy, Gavin, said. Oh, I've been around and about. <laughs> I can't believe you guys are here. Hey, Randy called out. It's nice that you're getting acquainted with these boys, but listen, we gotta fight. And they did. However, Kamu escaped. Kagura tried to catch up and try to capture her brother, but her brother managed to get away. Until next time, sis. See ya. Kagura watched her brother. She sighed. Lucy put a hand on her shoulder. Don't worry. We'll get your brother next time. She said, yeah. Next time. Kagura said. Kerwidwin tried to stop Gavin and his friends from leaving. Wait! Won't you join us? She asked. I'm sorry. This is a man's work. I can't. Then Gavin and his two followers went away. Kerwidwin watched. Then she got acquainted with Randy and the other girls, and soon a friendship began, as well as allies. Okay, thank you for listening and watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.